Uh, my name is Ho Kun Lee. How come? That's my name in English. I'm the CTO of Opera Software. Uh, that means I get to play with a lot of tools, um, a lot of toys. And this is one of them. This is the um, OLPC, uh, their XO computer, one laptop per child. They make an inexpensive computer uh, to be used by uh, developing countries, kids in developing countries. And um, we'll take a look at the machine here. It's actually, figuring out how to open it is actually uh, non-obvious. Non you have to, you'd have to take out the small antenna, the rabbit ears here, and then you can lift the screen. And here we have it. Here you see it. It's a, it's a great screen. It's a striking screen. 200 dpi resolution. Uh, the physical size is quite small, but, but the resolution when you get close is really quite stunning. Uh, then it has what you expect from a laptop. It has a keyboard, um, it has a mouse, it has USB ports, uh, one on this side, two on this side. Um, it has speakers, it has a camera, it has a microphone, and it has navigation buttons on the side here. Uh, it's really quite cool. The hardware, I think, is, is great. They've done some uh, new work here, really change computing from being the always faster, always more memory, always this, always that, to being a very minimalistic approach. Um, and I think a lot of people in the West, not only kids, but also adults, will want to have this uh, machine. So I hope they find some kind of distribution mechanism so that they can take this um, also to, uh, to our part of the world. Um, there's also, if you really want to see the hardware, you can tilt the screen here. And then you see this SD port come to sight. This is really the hidden feature. I wouldn't have noticed this if I didn't know it was there. Um, and by continuing the tilt, we can turn the machine into a tablet. And uh, we can take it along in the handle that uh, we have here as well. <laughs> so it's really quite cool. Um, what, what's running on the screen here now is uh, the Opera browser. We have uh, we made the Opera browser available. Uh, we'd like for people to use this. We're not going to charge for this. Uh, we think it's great that this machine comes out. And we think that Opera runs very well in it. Um, the processor here is 400 megahertz. It's got 128 megabytes of memory. It doesn't have a hard drive. It has flash memory. But it's for Opera, this is a great environment to run in. We're used to running on all sorts of phones. Um, where you're constrained, you have a constraint based on battery life, constrained processor, constrained connectivity. And it's, it's exactly the same constraints that you have on a machine like this that's going to be used uh, in a village uh, somewhere, maybe without sockets, power sockets in your home. The idea there is to have a power supply where you generate the power you use with, with your hand or your foot, having a sort of foot pedal. But th the applications shouldn't use more power than necessary either. Um, so we're used to running in those kinds of constrained environments. And here we see Opera uh, showing the wonderful monkey bites. And I'm going to show to you, switch to another, another page here, Wired News. Um, we have the tabs. The tab interface of Opera is, is here. Uh, the buttons on the top here, forward and backward, they have been changed to fit the look and feel of the project. They have defined a, a standard uh, set of guidelines for, for making applications for it. And we've implemented that as a skin in Opera. I think it's actually, um, it, 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 it's fun to play with. Um, we can do some things, we can, for example, we can uh, zoom, the, zoom the page here. We can also press the button to remove the application, or the activity as they call it, from the main view and then the, the GUI, uh, the Chrome, uh, appears around it. And here we see a list of the um, activities that are available on this machine. The antennas here uh, are well designed for Wi-Fi. They have a mesh functionality so that they can talk to several machines, talk to the other machines in the village, so that if one of them has a, a decent internet connection, that can be shared with the others through the mesh network. I only have one machine yet, so I haven't been able to play with that part of it. This is the first batch of prototypes. We hope there will be many more to come, uh, and we hope that it will have an impact on the world, on the web, um, and make the true 
makes the World Wide Web truly global. Thank you.